first, Victor Jacobo, also in Madison for us, joining us live where Republicans in the assembly are trying to override the governor's vetoes on COVID related measures. Victor. A number of bills considered today uh, have drummed up a lot of discussion among Republicans, but Democrats believe that the assembly's priorities are misplaced. Well, these are issues that are critically important to our constituents. The veto overrides schedule took aim at a bill that would prohibit public health officials from mandating the vaccine and another banning the closure of churches and other places of worship during the pandemic. And the ability to, to freely worship the way they see fit without government interference, uh, the ability to choose for themselves without their employer interfering with their decision making on whether they get a vaccine or not. Republican leadership said they would delay the overrides for another day, saying they didn't have enough votes. These are just distractions. These are political games. Assembly Democrats said scheduling the override takes time away from other important issues. What we need to be doing on the people's time, the people's business right now is discussing badger care expansion, mental health care, uh, jobs, child care. Another bill being considered would make it illegal if a sports arena with state funding skips the national anthem. Most Wisconsin sports teams already play it and the proposal will not penalize anyone if they violate the requirement. When a billionaire can say at his whim, I don't want to play it, um, that's a problem. Representative David Bowen expressed concern over the bill's implications. Really want to hear from my colleagues to ensure that they are not infringing, especially on, especially athletes and their rights to be able to protest. Now, just a few minutes ago, the assembly did pass that bill on the national anthem, 74 yeses to 22 noes. Representative Bowen was among the 22 no votes. Reporting live at the Capitol, Victor Jacobo, CBS 15 News.